Hi, and welcome to this Fornav coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornav and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to get started with Fornav in Business Central on-premise. To demonstrate how to get started with Fornav in Business Central on-premise, I will set up Fornav in a brand new Business Central installation. Please be aware that the installation of Fornav in an on-premise environment is different from the installation of Fornav in cloud-based systems. With cloud-based, we mean every Business Central system that is hosted by Microsoft. To determine if your Business Central is on-premise, please check your Business Central URL. It should not start with businesscentral.dynamics.com. To demonstrate how to get started with Fornav in Business Central on-premise, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will install and set up the Fornav designer. In step three, I will install the Fornav customizable report pack. In the fourth and final step, I will set up the Fornav customizable report pack. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will install Fornav in a Business Central on-premise installation that I've just installed. In this installation, you will need permission to install new extensions. You will need a Business Central license that has a Fornav granule added to it. You also need permission to install software on your PC and servers as the Fornav designer and add-ins are installed locally. The first step is to download and install the Fornav designer. You can download the Fornav designer from the Fornav website, which is right here. Just go to download and click to download the latest version. I've done this before, so we can, we don't have to wait for the download. So I'm just going to start the Fornav installation and you need to accept the agreement. And in order to install the Fornav uh, designer, you need to choose the full installation, which gives you the designer, the converter, the direct print and any add-ins you need. I'm just going to install all this and I don't want to view the readme page, but I do want to open the designer. Which of course opens on my other screen. So the next step we need to do is to install the Fornav add-ins on my server. To do this, I'm just going to run the Fornav designer again on the machine I'm using at the moment uh, without actually installing anything because I just want to show you what you need to do on your servers. For the server, you need to choose the uh, choose a custom installation and you need to install the server add-in and the direct print client. Uh, the client add-in is only needed for NFE 2013 and 2013 R2. And click next and you will install the Fornav uh, add-ins on your servers. Finally, we need to connect the Fornav designer to the Business Central server so I can read table and field information, load and save reports and manage extensions. To do so, you can either click connect to the Business Central server on the splash panel you get when you open the Fornav designer, or you can go to your settings and edit your connection. At the moment, I'm set up for uh, Business Central Cloud, which is the default. I am just going to change this. So I'm going to give this a new title. And I'm going to use the Business Central version that I'm using, uh, which is Business Central 16. To connect to my server, I need to type in my URL, which is BC160 for nav. And my server does use HTTPS. You need to make sure that if your server uses HTTPS or not, uh, if it doesn't, you need to select no. My server instance is BC. And when I do this, when I uh, select my server and server instance for nav will automatically determine your development URL, your APU, API URL and your SOAP URL. 
if you use different ports than the standard 7049, 7048, and 7047, you need to change the ports here as well. I don't use anything, uh, anything different from the standard, so I can simply hit te test, after which I need to log into my server. And once you hit test, once the connection has been made, 4NAV will automatically install the 4NAV core extension. And the 4NAV core extension is used to, uh, to enable 4NAV to open reports straight from the server and to manage extensions. So when all this is done, I'm ready to go. The next step is to install the customizable report pack. The customizable report pack contains a large number of reports that have been optimized for 4NAV. You can download the report pack from the 4NAV designer. So that's why we set up the 4NAV designer before, so we can download the report pack. To download the report pack, you can select new and then uh, click the 4NAV report pack, either extension app or Seaside. If you're still using a Seaside system, I'm using Business Central 16, so I need the extension. And this gives you the configuration tool for the report pack where you can choose your NAV version, which is Business Central 16. I can choose the uh, 4 nav version and the report pack version. And when all this is done, you can select download and 4 nav will download the uh, report pack. Once again, this takes a while, so I've done this before as well. So I'm just going to go to extensions and upload an extension. And with upload extension, I can select the uh, the extension that I have downloaded before, which uploads it to Business Central. Once this has been successfully uploaded, I can go to Business Central. And of course, I need to sign in. Once that's done, if I go to my setup and extensions, I get the 4NAV core extension and I get the customizable report pack extension. After installing the 4NAV customizable report pack, you can set it up so the 4NAV re reports get added to your report selection and you can add your logo, payment notes, etc. So to do this, let's go back to Business Central. And in Business Central, you can either go to Setup and Extensions and Assisted Setup and find the 4NAV wizard. Where I notice everything is in Dutch. So I'm just going to quickly switch over to English. So once again, go to the assisted setup and find the 4NAV setup. And now everything is in English, so everybody can understand where we can add a payment note and some legal conditions, which will be printed on the 4NAV reports. In the next step, I can choose how I want to print the VAT on my documents which I'm going to set up for always because I always want the VAT on my reports. And I can import a watermark for document reports, list reports and list reports landscape. So let's choose a watermark. And a watermark is simply a PDF file. If I quickly open this, you will notice it's simply a PDF file with a box here and a gray area there, which gets merged into your report. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to import the company logo. By default, 4NAV will want a logo in a PDF format because a PDF format is vectorized so you can zoom in and out easier. It, uh, it will stay crisp. Of course, you can choose any type of file and you can use uh, normal uh, JPEGs or PNG files.
Then I want to replace the report selections. This will replace all the standard report selections, the standard Business Central reports with their 4NAV counterparts. And I don't need to create the 4NAV web services. And when you click finish, everything will be set up for you. So to see if everything has been set up correctly, I'm just going to see if I can print a posted sales invoice. And if I hit print and preview, you will notice that my 4NAV reports opened. Uh, it prints. And you will notice that I have my logo on it and I have the uh, PDF watermark uh, uh, merged into my report. You will also notice that I have my uh, payment conditions here and all the way in the bottom, my legal conditions. If I want to change anything in the 4NAV setup, I can just go to my 4NAV setup. And in the 4NAV setup, I can change everything that I've done before. So I can change my payment note and my legal conditions and my logos, etc. Let's recap what we just did. We've installed the 4NAV designer and set it up so we can edit 4NAV reports. Then we installed the 4NAV customizable report pack in our Business Central installation. Finally, we ran the 4NAV setup wizard in our Business Central sandbox. We replaced the report selections and added a logo and a watermark. So let's see if there are any questions today. There's no questions today, so I will wrap up. And if you think of any questions to ask, please do so uh, before the end of the webinar, and I will still answer them. If you want to know more, please go to fornav.com. And if you download, want to download Fornav, obviously, like I said before, go to fornav.com slash download. If you want to use Fornav in uh, Business Central Cloud, uh, you can download the Fornav report pack in the Microsoft App Source. If you want to view any uh, of these uh, coffee break videos that we've recorded before uh, please go to our youtube channel uh, where you will find the coffee break videos and a number of other videos and if you have any questions at all after this coffee break then please send them to support at fornav.com obviously we will be continuing our coffee breaks for the next uh, for the foreseeable future for a list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks please visit fornav.com slash coffee break and if you have any requests for topics for future 4NAV coffee breaks, please let us know. Uh, please send them to info at 4NAV.com. If, uh, if we pick your suggestion, you will get two prizes. First of all, of course, we will do a coffee break for your topic. And secondly, we will send you a 50 euro or dollars gift, gift certificate as a thank you. So with that, there are still no questions. Thank you very much for listening. And I will see you at the next coffee break. Goodbye.